Hello viewers, welcome to Forza Destruction Derby 6 around Long Beach online in S class. I am driving the Noble M600 here, a very good car for this class as it turns out. Not really using much before, but it looks like we've already got, us, uh, got ourselves some carnage on the main straight. We haven't even got to the first corner yet and we've already got some carnage and it almost goes to the back of the Formula E car. So going into the first corner here, praying for a clean corner at least. And, oh my god, I've been totally shunted into the wall at full speed. And I've recovered back into 18th position. As we head into the chicane, these guys are all over the place. And I've gained four positions out of that. And we're going to come through round turn three or four into the Audi TT. Come back across the track. And I've reversed into that car. And it's all gone majorly wrong. Um, that was probably... a bit of my fault, I should have stayed still perhaps, instead of reversing but anyway, after all that we're down into 19th position the Jaguar behind us heading into, oh my god, the Jaguar's gone flying the inside, has smashed into the Ferrari who's ghosted, and I've made contact with the Jaguar and I'm going to go up his inside here, although he's covering me off, I'm going to go back to the outside, and he's just <laughs> he's just going to go straight on into the tyre wall like he didn't even know what the corner was there I don't think he knew that there was a corner there. Probably hasn't even done this track before. Um, so I'm past him. I'm, I'm past a Dodge Viper as well. As we head into the tricky final section. That uh, V8 supercar has hit the wall on the inside there. Dodge Viper. We've made side-by-side -side contact. But we've both survived. Aston Martin here. Heading into the final corner. The V8 supercar has just gone into the tyre wall and stopped. So that is not very good news for him. Now I've got the speed in this car, this car is really good in a straight line. And that is lap one completed, four more carnage filled laps left to go. Let's head into turn one, hopefully that Aston Martin can break in time and not go into the back of me. And he hasn't gone into the back of me, that's very good news. There's a couple of guys there in the wall, that is very usual, and there's another guy there in the wall. <laughs> it just seems uh, to be a lot of people driving into walls in this game. Um, more people in the wall rather than on the track it seems uh, but I don't mind at all because that is granting me many positions for free so despite it being totally smashed off at full pelt on the first corner I find myself halfway down the pack in 11th out of 22 with a bit of a gap here to the guys in front so I'm going to have to bridge that gap for a lap so actually no contact on this lap although look at this the uh, Ferrari Enzo there has um, been punted, it seems, by this caterum in front of us. So, as we head into the right-hander, I'm going to actually bail out there, because that Ferrari Enzo come flying up the inside. And I guess that was a fair move, but that did require me to move out of his way. Uh, I could have quite easily turned in and caused an accident there. Um, so he, re he was relying on me being very compliant there. And that was probably the best decision for me to turn away and avoid the contact. Now that's just another advantage of using this viewpoint. Um, I would not have seen that coming in cockpit view. That would have been a crash. So heading into turn one, lap three, the Enzo is breaking a bit late there. He's going to go into the wall and he's, again, another guy into the wall. And that's me into the top ten. And these two guys are trying to go through the hedge on the inside. But that clearly <laughs> is not the best way around that corner. So that guy was pretty much parked up in the hedge. Um, definitely not the best way to take the chicane and that has given me another two positions I've really gained so many positions here by not even racing that well so let's see how this race is panning out the guy in the lead is about 2,000 feet ahead which is a really quite a big gap especially when I've got another six people between me and him uh, that's the main factor here as well I could catch up but then I'd have to overtake six people as well on the way to getting to first. So we have a couple of caterers behind us and they should theoretically catch up through this sector. The very, this is very much a handling little sector here and once we get through here, I see smoke, once we get through this corner we can unleash the speed of the car and develop a bigger gap as we head back into turn one in a few moments time. So that is lap three done, two left to go. Uh, let's see how much carnage ensued on this lap. Uh, the last two laps were okay. 
for me anyway, but not for everyone else. Oh, and it actually seems as though... Oh my god, look at this. I think the top eight are all in this big bundle here. Uh, the guy in the first place is only 400 feet ahead now. So the race has really uh, uh, become very close up the front here. Is that a back marker? These two guys have made contact. The Viper there and the other car. Maserati ahead of me. So we've got BMW, yeah. He's in 20th position. So that back marker causing a lot of trouble. I'm going to go up the inside of the Maserati. But just about not get the job done. He thankfully gave me a car's width on the inside. So... I'm in fifth position here. How has this happened? The Mini Cooper's wide there. I'm going to go past him. That's the guy who was in the lead a lap ago. So I'm up the inside of the Maserati and looking at the back of a Ferrari who's in second. And I'm going to be slammed into the tyre wall for the second time this race. That Mini Cooper clearly uh, getting a bit angry there. Um, perhaps he thought it was me who took him out, but it definitely wasn't. And he's just going to go flying into the Viper. So he's uh, obviously a bit of a dodgy uh, driver. Feel the power zero, I believe his gamer tag is. And I know you're not meant to name and shame really, but I just did. So, oh well. So heading into turn one on the final lap. I've got the Mini Cooper behind me. What is he going to do? I'm going to keep looking behind. And I'm going to bail out the way. And he's just going to go flying into the wall. And that is not, very, uh, not a very wise move from him. Actually, very easy to defend that, but just by simply looking behind and moving out of the way. So I found myself in a podium position after all that. So I'm in third position now. Looking at the back of second, first place has developed a bit of a gap after all this trouble back here. And it looks like the only place I'm going to get here is second at best. So let's see if I can get uh, back past, or not back past, let's see if I can get past this Lamborghini. He's got a very good exit through that corner very quick car that and through the right hander onto the back straight he gets a bit sideways but then again so do I tires everywhere there's been a lot of people going to tire walls in this race I've never seen anything like it so heading into the final few corners now getting very um, drawn out this race and it doesn't look like I'm about to uh, get past this guy unless he makes a severe mistake which doesn't seem to be happening and there's no way I can get past him now. Oh, actually, he's gone a little bit slow there, but he's going to get the exit. And there's no chance for me to catch up as the start line is just coming up now. So that is third place from 21st on the grid. So that is a net gain of 18 <laughs> positions. I think probably 17 of those were where people just drove into the wall and then forgot how to drive. So... Nonetheless, a good performance because, you know, you still have to make the most of other people's misfortune. I could have driven into a tyre wall myself, but I kept my composure and managed to keep going. Uh, did get taken out twice. Um, for no real reason, I didn't, I don't really do anything wrong to anyone in that race. Maybe reverse on the first lap, that was a bit dodgy, but um, didn't warrant me getting taken out twice. But in the end, that was quite a fun race. I know the... The racing shouldn't be like that, but it is quite fun when you can uh, get yourself through the pack. So, I really hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know in the comments what your dirtiest ever race is, because I think that is probably the dirtiest race of all time that I've ever done. Uh, the, the amount of crashing there and bad driving was just incredible. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what your dirtiest ever race was, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.